How wonderful person this is Anton, and today we're going to be discussing some of the new propositions in regards to the unusual phenomena that could be happening in many different black holes out there. Phenomena that the scientists are now exploring using quantum physics, and something that can actually help us understand why certain galaxies have certain features, and what happens in certain black holes that spin really really fast. But before we discuss the black holes, it's actually important to understand where a lot of these ideas originally come from. They do come from quantum physics, and specifically from this really unusual state of matter, usually referred to as BEC, Back, or Bose-Einstein condensate. Something that happens to certain particles of gas as you cool them down. And here these particles have to be what's known as bosons, usually this is particles of helium. As you start to cool them down, each particle starts to acquire bigger and bigger wave function, and eventually each of these wave functions start to sort of interact and then even joins in, creating one single wave function that sort of acts as a single object. And this is what we refer to as back. This is essentially how the scientists have been studying various quantum effects, and this particular state of matter has even been created on the International Space Station, and we've discussed this in a video a few years ago. But the most important part about this state of matter is that it really doesn't act like classical matter at all anymore. It acts like quantum wave. And its behavior and its interaction with other stuff can actually no longer be predicted by classical physics. For example, if you do something to this matter and you expect a certain type of reaction based on what we know about, well, I just say normal helium gas, the results are always going to be very surprising. It almost always acts in a way that's only explainable through quantum physics. And because of this, in the last few decades, that has been one of the most exciting prospects in order to learn more about quantum physics and to try to understand how things work in the universe. But while studying these backs not so long ago, I guess around 6 years ago, back in 2016, the scientists discovered a new feature of these unusual backs, specifically the ones that tend to spin really fast. So in classical physics, for any kind of a spinning liquid or a spinning gas, we can generally predict exactly what's going to happen to it as it spins faster and faster. As a matter of fact, hydrodynamics and aerodynamics explain a lot of different spinning water and gas particles with extreme precision. But for these quantum particles, for these backs, things are very very different. A typical back, as it starts spinning around, starts exhibiting entirely different structures and entirely different properties, something that nobody could predict until the scientists started to do it. They actually start producing what the scientists today refer to as vortices. But even here, they're not at all similar to the ones we find in the water. They don't act like this at all. Here's a microscopic image of what they really look like. This right here is a spinning back, spinning Bose-Einstein condensate. And each of those tiny dots you see, those are tiny vortices that appear inside the condensate. But here we're talking about a kind of a quantized vortex that's formed with very unusual patterns, all almost resembling a crystal. Here are some other examples from similar experiments, but with the back of different size. And so as you can see, this phenomenon seems to appear in any kind of quantum material that starts to spin. And when analyzed, this particular lattice sort of looks like this. It has a very specific order, and it does seem to have its own physics that it obeys using quantum mechanics. Today the scientists believe that these vortices can actually help us explain different phenomena such as superfluidity and superconductivity. But even though the scientists have been studying them for many years, they're not there just yet. You can actually see some other visual examples in one of the links in the description with quite a lot of different recreations of what happens to these backs as they start spinning. But these patterns are not permanent and they do change with time. For example, in this case, it lasted for about 40 seconds before changing into something a little bit different. So these are definitely not permanent structures. But what does it have to do with black holes? Well, when it comes to trying to explain what black holes are, a lot of modern physicists realize that modern physics cannot explain what happens inside the black holes. For example, Einstein's relativity only explains what happens right until the event horizon, with everything after this basically becoming infinity, which in physics just means that we don't really have a good explanation. And so the scientists believe that quantum physics, and potentially the idea known as quantum gravity, could provide some answers. And what happens inside black holes could be entirely quantum in nature. In other words, black holes could be basically very unusual quantum states of matter. Although naturally, at the moment, nobody really knows exactly how any of this works. But there is at least one hypothesis, and it does involve the hypothetical gravitons. 
the particles that some scientists believe could explain how gravity works as well. And in this case, because this is also a boson, it can also create backs, very similar to the ones that I showed you previously, and thus exhibiting very similar effects, especially when it starts spinning. And so a few years ago, the scientists proposed that, well, maybe backs with gravitons could explain certain types of black holes, with the most recent paper that was just released, going further, establishing that for a spinning black hole, assuming that it's made out of quantum gravitons, it can actually start forming these vortices as well. With each individual vortex then producing a lot of other additional effects we observe, including very powerful magnetic lines that currently do not have a really good explanation otherwise. Or in other words, the implication here is really simple. Some black holes, or maybe even all black holes, could be these very unusual Bose-Einstein condensates and might possess very similar properties to what we actually discover in these experiments as well. Even showing that a black hole that's spinning can also be described using similar physics, but as a graviton Bose-Einstein condensate that possesses vorticity. Implying that this right here is just a bigger version of what the scientists were able to take pictures of before. And if correct, it might provide certain answers for a lot of different mysteries of black holes. First of all, it would suggest that a very fast spinning black hole would be really stable and would not emit any Hawking radiation. In other words, it would not evaporate and would actually remain relatively constant. At the same time, they show that each individual vortex traps a lot of the magnetic field lines, which end up releasing very specific signatures that would be impossible to produce otherwise and that can actually be experimentally detected by observing certain black holes. Which of course implies that this is not just a hypothesis, it's a testable hypothesis that some future studies could maybe test if very specific observations are made. At the same time, this could also explain why certain galaxies, and specifically certain galactic nuclei, tend to have very powerful magnetic fields that otherwise are kind of difficult to explain. As a matter of fact, a lot of the magnetic fields in various galaxies could maybe stem from these unusual effects, from these unusual spinning quantum black holes. But I guess more importantly, it also adds a completely new property to a typical black hole. Today, black holes are generally explained by three different properties. We have mass, we also have charge, and lastly, we have spin. So we know that all black holes spin, they all have mass, and they all possess at least some charge. But now there seems to be a fourth one, vorticity. This could also be one of the features if the scientists behind the study are somewhat correct and if black holes are indeed quantum objects exhibiting quantum features similar to what we find in both Einstein condensates here on Earth. So definitely a pretty exciting proposition, but something that we're not going to be able to test until some of the future very powerful observations from extremely distant black holes that we know most likely spin. So definitely not testable anytime soon. But backs in general always create so many different surprises. As a matter of fact, we'll discuss some of them in the videos you can find in the description below. And so this unusual state of matter can definitely help us resolve a lot of different mysteries in the universe that would be very difficult to explain otherwise, because this right here allows us to test and to observe quantum effects by using actual microscopes and by using larger objects. Something that normally only happens on subatomic scales. But for now, I guess we're not going to know if this is correct or not. And so until future studies, thank you for watching, subscribe, check out some of the previous videos in the description below, maybe support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description as well. And stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.